Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are fantastic. In this video, we are going to discuss about SLO. What is SLO and how to set up a SLO for synthetic monitors in the Dynatrace. If you are visiting our channel for the first time, kindly subscribe and also share with your friends about our channel. So the very first question is what is SLO? SLO is nothing but it is a target you set for a service. Right now I have connected to the Dynatrace environment. Let me go to the apps and search by the name SLO. And I will use service level objective classic. So once you click on that service level objective classic, this is how it's look like. Right now I have not set up any SLO. To set up a new one here you will find an option called add new SLO. Just click on that and then provide the required information here. For example, I am going to you now create the SLO for the synthetic monitor of Google application. I have already created a synthetic monitor of Google. Okay. I want to monitor the SLO of that. Here you need to provide the name for that. You can see right name this SLO. I will name it as my SLO Google browser monitor. Then here you can provide the some detailed information about this particular SLO. After that you need to provide these three things. What are the metrics in defining the filter and also the success criteria of that. Let me expand the matrix. So here it is going to take the name as my new SLO Google browser monitor. So whatever I have given here right based on this one it is going to select the name. Then here you need to provide the exact metric name. If you are not aware about the matrix what we are going to use, you can click on this option metric space and you can search the required metric there. For example, in my requirement I am interested in the synthetic related matrix. So to find out the synthetic related matrix, let me go to that section and in the filter by option you can type synthetic. So it will list out all the matrix available for the synthetic and you can choose what is relevant for you. You can see right different matrix were available total 79 matrix were available which is having the name synthetic in that but I am interested in the availability of the synthetic monitors. So for that reason I need to find out the exact metric here. So let me search by the name synthetic browser availability. Okay there are two matrix by the name synthetic browser availability. This is first one and this is second one. So like this you can identify your required metric details here. As I am already available about my metric name, I am going to paste that information here. Synthetic browser availability dot location dot total split by. Then after providing the proper metric here, we need to define the filter. Like what all are the synthetic monitors I am going to add it here. There might be n number of synthetic monitors right in the Dynatrace. But for this SLO which is required that we need to define inside the filter. And also you need to provide the timeline here. What is the timeline we are going to use for this SLO. By default it is going to give last one week. If you want to make a modification just click on that. And you can make the necessary changes here. Like last one hour, today, last 24 hours, last 7 days. So many options were available. And apart from these presets. If you are interested in the custom part, then click on custom thing and make the changes here. For example, I want to know from the 5th to the 13th. Like this. However you want, based on that you can select here. So for now what I will do, I will just give it as last one number. It means I want to know the availability of my synthetic monitor that is google.com like how it is behaving. Right? Then comes entity selector. So you need to provide the proper entity selector here. Then only it is going to calculate that. Because if you not provide the proper information here, then Dynatrace will not understand what I am doing here. So you need to provide like for the google.com synthetic monitor, I want to set up a SLO. For yahoo.com, I want to set up a SLO. You need to define that. So to find out what all are the you know, monitors were available, that is synthetic monitor were available, you need to type synthetic test. Okay. If you are looking for a particular service, then you can take use of this type. And if you have the entity ID name already, then you can take use of this one. So depending on the requirement, you can do. 
for example right now i don't know the exact entity id of my google.com synthetic monitor to find out that what i will do now i just typed type synthetic test and then i'll click on preview so that it is going to give the complete list of synthetic monitors synthetic browser monitors that are available in the environment since i have set up two synthetic monitors that is displaying here one is google.com and another one is yahoo.com now i am very much interested in the google.com i want to create the slo for this right so what i will do i will copy this particular entity id then i will pass that particular information here that entity id equals to synthetic test and followed by numbers then i'll click on preview so this time it will take only one that is google.com because that is how we have given the filtering thing here right type synthetic test and then particularly i am looking for the google so what we have done first we have selected the metric then we have selected the particular synthetic monitor here then comes success criteria so here you need to set up the value here what is the target you want to set and what is the warning you want to set and what is the total value here so what i will do i will set up the value as target 95% if the target is not reach 95 or if it is less than 95 that i will consider as critical means 0 to 95% whatever the value we may get that we consider as a critical even if it is 94% that is also critical for us suppose if it is in between 95 to 97 that i will call it as warning okay and then you can give the error budget as well since we have provided 95% right here the error budget is 5 if you give the target as 97 then error budget is 3% like that it is okay then you can click on evaluate so now what happens so we are going to evaluate the slo of google.com for last one hour like whatever the timeline we have given right based on that it is going to preview here like last one hour we have checked the value so the result is it is up point fine working as expected 100% and whatever the error budget we have given that is same it is 5% here and you also see the same information in the graph you can see right metric selector 100% we are able to see the data is 100% all over the timeline whatever we have selected if you want to set select the slo for different time intervals like if you want to set it for last 7 days yes you can do that here just make it as last 7 days and then click on preview you will get the data but you will not have the data like last 7 days here because i i have created that synthetic monitors today itself so you maybe you will not get that information okay that is how you need to create the SLO here. Once you have selected everything, just click on Create. So it is going to create a SLO for us. You can see right, my new SLO for Google Browser Monitor. The current status is 100%, and error budget is 5%. If there are any problems, that you will get here. Right? This is how you can create. If uh, the value is reducing, if it is 95 less than 95%, then instead of 100%, you will see the value as 94, 93 like that, and you will see that information in the red color. and after creating that one if you want to set up a alert for that for example if the status is less than 93% i want an alert so for that what you need to do just click on this three dot option then create alert and you can set up a value here for example alert when the status falls below 95 you can modify as well like 93% if the status is less than 93 then create alert so what directors will do it will keep on monitor this particular slo and if the value is less than 93% it is going to create an alert for you hope you got some idea how to create the slo in directors i have explained it for synthetic monitors likewise you can set it for the application or for the host or for the database or for the different matrix related to your requirement application requirement okay this is the method of setting up the slo in the directors Thank you so much for watching till the end and bye for now